Hello, people of the internet. My name is Johnny, and welcome back to another Five Nights at Freddy's news video. Now, you may have seen recently some information going around about Sanchi getting their FNAF license renewed, and it's true. Their license has been renewed. But I did want to wait until today to post this video, not only because I just posted a video at the time that we got this information, but I also wanted to wait for, hopefully, a bit more information about this discussion because we don't know anything about this besides the fact that yes, their license has been renewed to this year. So I originally saw this information on the FNAF subreddit. Uh, it was posted by Ethan Georgia underscore CG. The post says not to get hopes up, but Sanchi's FNAF plushies have all had their copyright dates updated to 2020. And then they provide a screenshot of the website and it says copyright Scott Cawthon 2020. And if you go to the website, that is what it says. So it's way too hot to put up the green screen, but as you can see, I am on Sanchi's website. This is the, oh Jesus, that's the catalog. This is the Freddy plushie, and right down here you can see copyright Scott Cawthon 2020. And in fact, it says this for basically every single FNAF product on the website. As you can see, they all basically have copyright Scott Cawthon 2020 on them. Interestingly enough, the only one that I can find that doesn't have a copyright of 2020 is the Five Nights at Freddy's Celebrate Scarf, and I don't know why, but it still has a copyright of 2015. Maybe they just don't want to bring it back, but I think it looks pretty good. And we know that the license got renewed recently because on October 23rd, 2019, as you can see, the Foxy Plush had a copyright of 2015. So now comes the big question. Why in the world has it been updated? Has Scott officially cut ties with Funko? Is he bringing back Sanchi for 2020? It's interesting to discuss because again, we don't know a whole lot. This is literally all we know. Personally, I would really hate to see Funko go. I know that is a very unpopular opinion. I know I'm going to get a lot of hate in the comments because it's the cool thing to do to hate on Funko because they leaked the designs of the characters. But I definitely think Funko has a very significant role in the history of FNAF merchandise products. And they, it would be weird to see them go. And they have so many products for FNAF. The plushies, action figures, mystery minis, Funko Pops. They have a lot of stuff. And to cut all of those away just to sign deals with Sanchi again would probably not be the best idea. Financially, of course. Um, but we all know Scott usually does what he sees fit for the community and for the games. Plus, uh, Sanchi is a lot more expensive than Funko, so again, that's another thing that doesn't work out financially, but they are a lot more higher quality. Just comparing the plushies alone, actually, that's all we can compare, because that's really all Senshi does. Yeah, I mean, all they do is, like, plushies, t-shirts, uh, they've got, like, one poster, one scarf, and that is literally it. That's all their products. That is legit their entire lineup. They have a mask, but that looks like crap. You can tell that Sanchi does a much better job at getting them game accurate than Funko. It's also interesting to speculate what Scott is going to do with this renewed license with Sanchi. It is a bit odd, the timing, however, because Funko is actually making plushies for Security Breach. I'm here on GameStop and I can see Fire Nights at Freddy's Security Breach Vanny plushie. However, unlike the action figures, I cannot actually buy this product. I can't pre-order it. In fact, I honestly don't remember the release date. If you guys do, tell me in the comments. There's no picture. It's just kind of here, but we know nothing about it. So does this mean after Funko leaked the action figures and the mystery minis, Scott told them to stop making the plushies and now he's going to Sanchi? I don't know. Honestly, I don't think he would do something like this. I don't think he would just stop production on a product that hasn't even come out yet. To be honest, it is a very Scott thing to do. I can see him doing that, but I feel like that, I don't know, that, that's a real stretch, you know? It is, again, interesting to theorize what characters can Sanchi make with their new license? Will they go back and make characters that don't have plushies yet? Or will they be more focused on the new characters that have come into play recently with Help Wanted, Special Delivery, maybe even Security Breach? But we really have no clue. Because again, we know like nothing about this situation. Going back to Sanchi's lineup, however, uh, they don't do plastic products. I don't have a lot of knowledge on Sanchi, but from what I've seen, they don't do a whole lot of plastic products, which is why there's no action figures and stuff like that. So again, if Scott cuts ties with Funko, we're missing out on so 
many pieces of merchandise, including action figures, and I love having FNAF action figures. Pops as well, I got loads of Funko Pops, they're all gonna be gone. Mystery minis, I just ordered a lot of them for the security breach merchandise and they're all gonna be gone. I think the plushies we can go without. I think, <laughs> I think if Scott truly is making deals with uh, Sanchi again, I think we can, you know, let Funko's plushies go, but I don't know how I feel about letting everything else go. Do I think Funko would be okay with cutting ties with Scott? Probably. I think everyone can agree that their FNAF merchandise has been very, very slacking recently. They haven't been making a lot of good FNAF products as of recently. Uh, they've also been reusing a lot of products. You know, they have like the jumbo plushies, the giant plushies, the tiny plushies. They also have the black light pops and action figures and plushies and all that stuff. They just, they reuse a lot of stuff, which it's kind of okay, but at the same time, it's like, when you, when you realize that's basically what they're doing a lot, it's like, come on, man, don't do that. Yeah, it is interesting to um, find out if Scott will cut ties with Funko. I personally hope he doesn't. I know a lot of people want him to, but guys, you really gotta think about it. Do you really want Funko to stop making FNAF products? I know I don't. Again, I do think Funko fricked up. They funked up real bad earlier this year by leaking all of the merchandise for the upcoming game. And I know Scott said that things will be happening very, very differently going forward, but I, I wouldn't want to see Funko go away. Now you can hate on me all you want in the comments down below. I honestly don't care, right? If you guys want Funko to go away, that's great. That's your opinion. I personally don't, and that's my opinion. And guess what? That's okay. Going back to what I said earlier about the production costs of Sanchi, it is significantly higher than Funko. And because of that, their merchandise is also a lot more expensive than Funko's. So that is another thing to take into consideration. You get less products, and they also cost more. But yeah, that is basically all the info we have on this discussion as of right now. Scott has not said anything. As far as I've seen, Sanchi and Funko have also not said anything. So I guess we just gotta wait and see what's gonna happen. That is it for this topic in this video. Uh, stay tuned if you guys are interested in FNAF merchandise because tomorrow we're going to be looking at the brand new wave of FNAF merchandise being released by Cloak. They've been teasing it over the past week or two and I'm very excited to see what they're gonna have in store. Anyways, yeah, that's it for me. Thanks for watching and I'll see you all on the flip side. Goodbye.